Greetings, people of the internet. I have returned with yet another retrospective episode. Uh, and hopefully this is going to be a new recurring thing. Because I got some uh, new games uh, recently that I'm planning on doing retrospectives on. Um, and those games are Call of Duty Finest Hour for the PlayStation 2. Which might be a delayed video because... Um, the PlayStation 2 isn't really working properly right now. Uh, I got Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, uh, and GTA San Andreas, and Counter-Strike, and yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so the game that I am going to be doing a retrospective on this time, specifically, is none other than Black Ops 2. Now, you may notice that this cover of Black Ops 2 sort of looks kind of weird, um, and I thought it was a, like, a limited edition <laughs> rugged look, which I genuinely like this, um, look better than the original. But no, the original owner just beat the hell out of it. Um, but, um, so, before we get started, this, okay, hold on. Uh, I actually just, uh, recently bought all of the, the DLC and, um, I just turn on the Xbox. And that's kind of the main point of this video. I'm going to do an ultimate retrospective. I'm going to be doing the main game, the DLC, and basically everything there is to it. So, recently, um, and this is something that I just recently did, was that I am currently in the process of beating all... His, um, I unlock, like, most of the achievements for the main campaign. Uh, the only one that I have to do is suffer, is, um, old wounds, I believe, is being, like, the main one that I have to do. And I have these three achievements left as well. But yeah, I did, like, most of the achievements for the game, which is great, because, um... Yeah, I'm a completionist now, and I have almost all of the um, achievements unlocked. But aside from the achievements, what else is there to the game? Well, um, as you guys may or actually should know now, uh, Black Ops 2 is by far my favorite Call of Duty game of the Xbox 360 era. Black Ops 1 is a close second, but because... The campaign is very good. Um, actually, no. I would, for my favorite, I would tie both Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Because both of the campaigns are really good. They both have very decent enough villains. Uh, Black Ops 2 has Raul Menendez. Krepchenko, I believe, is the main villain of Black Ops 1. And the DLC packs for both of them are just, you know, out of this world. Um... You see, that's a reference to the fact that Black Ops 1 has Moon. Uh, that is, you know, it was a little joke. <clears throat> anyway, so, Black Ops 1 has the main four DLC packs, those being Resurrection, which has Nocturne, Toten, Verrucked, Dries, and um, Shinonuma. There's also the other map packs that have Moon. Well, no, Moon was also in Resurrection. But there's also Call of the Dead, uh, Ascension, and Shangri La. And Black Ops 2 has all of the DLC as well. Which, um, once I put my disc into the Xbox. And once that is all loaded oh, damn it my xbox 360 disc drive is a pain in the ass um let me just discuss to you each and every major mission in black ops well black ops 2 so black ops 2 basically begins and basically you play as two separate characters uh david mason and uh alex mason david mason is the main dude from fucking Black Ops 1 and Alex Mason, who I believe also shows up in Black Ops 3. But yeah, David Mason 
uh, returns. Woods returns. Uh, Reznov makes a couple of brief cameos. But yeah, Hudson's also back, but with a new voice actor. And spoiler alert, both Hudson and Alec, no, David Mason both die uh, during one of the last old-fashioned missions. And, you know, which sucks, because I like David. And I liked Hudson, which Hudson in this game is voiced by none other than motherfucking Batman. And, um... So, on to the DLC. Now, the game comes with one, with uh, three DLC maps, known as Green Run, where you get Transit, uh, Farm, and Town, which are probably by far the most popular maps of, like, all time. Um, surprisingly. Um... I don't know why the game is uh, being slowed down. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the DLC. So, the major DLC is, like I said, Green Run, which um, you get Transit, Town, which is another gray map, uh, and Farm, which for some strange reason, Transit is, or Green Run, is by far the most popular of them all. If you go onto the Black Ops 2 servers now, uh, Green Run is probably the most popular. Uh, then we have uh, Mob of the Dead, um, which, you know, typical stuff. You know, and, and that one has a great cast of characters. Um, it has the last appearance of Ray Liotta. I believe Joe Pesci might also make an appearance. Make an appearance. I don't freaking remember. All Italians are kind of strange. Uh, <coughs> anyway, so yeah. Mob of the Dead. Basically Alcatraz. And by far one of my favorite maps. Because Transit, when I first got the game, uh, was basically the only thing that I had and so I got sick and tired of it and Mob of the Dead is probably my second favorite then there's Nuketown 2025 which you know is just Nuketown it's um not my favorite uh but I did like the fact that they made a zombies map out of one of the best multiplayer maps there is um and then there's Origins my favorite map of them all, um, which I'm not going to press start on Origins because um, copyright music and stuff, and I don't want to bench sevenfold to walk. I'm knocking on my door asking me to take the video down. Uh, and then there's Buried. No, no, no. Yeah, Buried. Uh, another one of my favorite maps. So in chronological order, it would go Origins, Mob of the Dead, Buried, Die Rise, Transit, and then Nuketown. Uh, I will have to put Transit kind of low because, like I said, it's a pretty bland map and not the greatest there is. Actually, no, I, I'm going to replace uh, Die Rise with Transit. And then, yeah, so it would go Origins, uh, Mob of the Dead, Buried, Transit, uh, Die Rise, and then Nuketown. But yeah, so Buried, basically, you have the, one of the main crews. Because they basically appear in all of the major maps except for Tr Mob of the Dead and Origins. Where the original crew from Black Ops 1 and World at War appear. Which I found to be very decent and a nice fun fact the scientist who is portrayed in the majority of the maps in black ops 2 is none other than robin from uh, teen titans which i found to be kind of strange but yeah and then there's none other than die rise which is a decent map but not my favorite um let's see is there anything I'm missing 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you got the season pass, which is what I had did, I paid about $50 for all of these maps. Very good price. I highly recommend you um, go out and buy that. One of my other videos that I'm planning on releasing is how much all of the map packs and stuff cost, which I made that video long before I had actually bought the map pack. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Nuketown's just, it's just Nuketown, the smallest map of the bunch. Uh, Origins is probably the best map that I had played back in the day with my friends. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of my friends have uh, moved on from Black Ops 2, and they have sort of reverted back to Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 is where I met most of them. But yeah, Mob of the Dead, great. Um... Barry is also a very decent map because Grief is just your typical two on two, you know. Uh, then there's Turned, which is where you are a zombie and, you know, all that stuff, which I thought was a very fun uh, decision. And stuff. But aside from zombies, if you buy all of the map packs, you also get multiplayer maps, which, you know, I found to be great. Because also, when you get the chance, get the Nuketown 2025 DLC map before you can. Because, uh, you know, as it is commonly known now, uh, Black Ops 2, unfortunately, uh... Sorry, my uh, video cut out. Uh, the, the Xbox 360 store is, in, is closing next month. And I decided to go in and buy the um, Season Pass. Which, you know. But you get all of these very decent-ass maps. You get Nuketown 2025, which is free. I might add it. Surprisingly, because I believe when the game came out, only like a select few people were able to get this map, and then they made it for free. Uh, but we got Downhill, Mirage, Hybrid, which, Hydro, sorry, um, which is basically, you know, hydroelectric power plant, you know, water stuff. Grind, which I found to be one of my least favorite of the DLC maps, because there's not much. It's a skate park. Which might have been reference to the fact that they were making Tony Hawk games at this time. Not good ones, because we did have like Tony Hawk's Tony Hawk HD and you know the ride and grind and yeah, it's not it it's not great. Uh, but we have Encore, Magma, Vertigo, Studio. This is one of my favorite maps that I have played because it's literally a movie studio. You know, uh, Uplink is basically just Summit, but futuristic, which I found to be great because Summit was one of my favorite maps in the Black Ops 1 era. Uh, but let's see, Cove is an okay map. Detour, uh, Rush is also one of my least favorite maps. Uh, dig, which is a dig site. It's a map... Frost is also one of my favorites. Pod and Takeoff. Takeoff is one of my favorite maps as well. But they also got your classic standard maps like Hijack, which is the boat, you know, classic map. Uh, Meltdown, Plaza, Overflow is iffy. Uh, Express, Drone, Carrier, Cargo, and Standoff, which I actually uh, did a... Um, Easter egg on standoff, which uh, I will show you guys. I'm not, I'm not even gonna really have any bots or anything. I'm just gonna do this on my own. But there is a very decent Easter egg, at least on this map, that a friend of mine actually showed me when the game like first came out. I forgot about it, and then like a few years later, in like 2015, 2016. 
uh, I was at a friend's house and he showed it to me again, which I thought was really cool. So basically I've known about this for the past like through about past like decade now. So you're gonna want to go up these stairs right here. Or blah, the ladder. Those are not stairs. Sorry, I'm just woke up from a long ass nap. And is this the one that is? No. So basically, you have like this really nice kitchen, kitchen stuff. And you're actually gonna want to. Not go into this one, but go into the one over here. Which, this is very difficult for me to do. Um, with just a, with one hand. So, uh, bear with me here. Um, you don't want to go over here, up these stairs, and see this nice dorm room. If you go on to there and you zoom in it actually says zombies are coming which i found to be a very decent little uh, thing and we also have a bunch of other sticky notes for a bunch of other stuff but yeah i thought this was a very decent easter egg so yeah that's black ops 2 uh released in 2012 by activision treyarch probably far one of the best campaigns and then literally a year later, we got one of the worst campaigns. That campaign being Ghosts. So, yeah. Um, that was a fun video to make. By far one of my favorite uh, Call of Duty games like of all time. Um, and it is still my go-to game now. Uh, because, you know, I used to like just have freaking Black Ops 1 and then I la would later go on to buy uh, fucking Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and like Black Ops 2 and shit. Um, give me a sec. Uh, I would go on to buy like Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops 2, World at War, and fucking Modern Warfare 1, you know. Modern Warfare 2 and all that other stuff. So, yeah. Probably my favorite game. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, as I did making it. Also, sorry for the music in the background. My brother's playing each channel online. Uh, but, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>